first I'll put on my gloves then we'll immediately start with an autoscope until we eventually then move on to the ear cleaning and ear inspection. Subject is ready, just sitting there, just sitting idly. So let's just go ahead and just check this ear first. So I'm just gonna get on nice and quiet. Just gonna set the autoscope in three, two. Just going to assess the situation, assess how how everything is looking and overall. It's a little bit dirty, but that's to be expected. It has been a while after all. But overall, in terms of the, how the actual ear itself is looking, I'm not seeing any type of cuts or anything like that. Nothing, no need for concern, just a little bit dirty. That's perfect. Okay, and then we move on to this one now. I'm just going to insert the other scope in three, two. Okay, it's good to see that the other one is the same, which is to be expected. This is why we are here today. And again, no other worries. There's no cuts, there's no bruises, there's no anything that we need to be worried about. It's just an ear cleaning today, which is perfect. We're just make absolutely sure. Just going to check with a different thingamabob and then we shall eventually then move on to the actual cleaning here so let's just have another look here I just as a second opinion yeah, now we're just gonna move it all the way around first in clockwise okay and then we're gonna move counterclockwise just Looks like everything is good. Let's just go a little bit deeper right into that ear canal. And it looks like it's just more wax as expected, but the skin is a nice color. It's nothing, it's not too red. Even the ear itself isn't too dark, so it's not too hot or anything. So there's no. It is that time of year for a fever, but it looks like our friend here today is doing perfectly okay, so that's good to know. And then we'll check again with this side as well. Yep. Okay, so again we'll go, just look around the edges, we'll go clockwise, just go a little bit deeper, deeper into that ear canal. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's perfect, and then we'll move counterclockwise. No, nothing, no need for concern, just a little bit more wax, that's perfect, again, this ear seems perfectly okay, it doesn't feel too warm, it doesn't look, it doesn't look out of place with anything, the skin is perfectly around the same shade as the rest, so it's not too dark, it doesn't feel too hot, so raw, I think, we can at least establish that our friend here is at least not too under the weather, hopefully. So, I think we should then just move on to the cleaning just for a moment. And just inspect how the actual video feels. These pair are nice and round, rather smooth. I'm not seeing anything that's too rigid here. Let's just say that 
overall here itself would be perfectly okay. Maybe just a little bit small, but again, that'll be for the wax, so we just need to give that a bit cleaning. And check around the back of this side as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. get on with the uh, cleaning. Start off with just a simple pair of tools, then we'll move on to a different pair and just go about in that order. So let's just begin. Three, two, one. different tool here. Let's see if it sounds any different. So it's good to see that it's not it's not type of blocks that's been there for a long time. As it builds up, it can tend to stick. And that can become a lot more difficult to remove. So thankfully our simple tools here at the Mountains Clinic is perfectly capable of reducing this.
just a quick one here. Okay, let's just have a look. How is it progressing? Okay, that's already much better, as I said before. It's nothing too stubborn, so it's just regular old wax that can easily be replaced. Or not replaced, it can easily be removed. And let's just, <coughs> sorry, let's just do a count a clockwise movement first. Yeah, just check around the sides. Okay, that's perfect. And then on this side again. one starts from five so this goes to maybe about just 11.3 centimeters but of course it's starting from five about six centimeters for some reason so it may be closer to more like eight seven centimeters and again with this one is it about the same let's just hook that up there it's about the same this one goes to maybe 11 so again that would go to about eight or seven and then we move along to the side here and that takes us to maybe about four centimeters across there and again with this one just move along to the side that takes us to about four so that's about four centimeters and then what if we just measure from ear to ear that's about one two three four Be about 15 centimeters okay but that's from the side and then what about the top of that kind of round just around the same there okay but then what if we move on two inches let's say start from this one so that's again only goes to maybe about 3.1 3.2 inches perhaps but then if we move along to the side that must be a little bit smaller here let's just check on the inside there's that's literally just around one inch from this inner ear and then again we start from here but except this time let's go from the very top of the base and then move down that would be about five about six inches okay and then move down to the ear itself again that is about 3.2 inches and then we move on to the very 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 base there and that's about one inch okay and then we just move this along here now interestingly this actually starts from two inches but we have to so one two three four five six so maybe about i would say maybe 5.7 5.8 
inches. Okay. But then what if we just start right here? That is roughly about the same, maybe a bit less. So overall, I would say our ears are a perfectly fine shape. Our friend here has a lovely pair. Right then. Now let me just conduct a couple of unorthodox tests here. Another stethoscope and all this like to say how this would sound for our friend here. So we have no idea if we can actually hear that or not. Perhaps not. What about here? What about here? And then what about here? Perhaps not. That is just an experiment in the making after all that we're just beginning to conduct. Let's just do a little bit of a sound test here. Okay, and just one more bizarre test here.
much better now. Looks like tap was enough to get rid of the rest of the wax here. Let's just do one more thing here. Let's just focus. say that we are done. Our friend might be asleep at the moment, but when we wake them, they've had a bit of rest. God, they deserve to be just at ease for a while to get away from reality. So until then, we'll see.